best. You are not rocking with the best. <laughs> Tonight on the show, we are honoured to have uh, the Solid Steel DJs in the house. Uh, the team are behind the amazing extravaganza, I guess, this DJ compilation and live performance of all the samples that went together to create the Beastie Boys second album, Paul's Boutique. And it's just an amazing show. I've got to ask the cliche question, how did that... How did this come about? Where did this, you know, where was it born from? It came to me in a dream, actually. I was visited by a spirit guide. No. Is this right. the interview where we're going to lie? Yeah, like we're make answer. it all up, yeah. <laughs> well, um, I did a Paul's, I did a Beastie Boys mix called, uh, based on the Check Your Head samples, and it kind of just pinballed from there. We thought, what would be the next concept, next idea, obviously the next album. And I couldn't be asked to do it on my own, so I think we agreed to split between us. I love, I love Money Shots <laughs> mixes anyway, but um, when you did the Check Your Head Beastie Beats mix, I just caned it all summer yeah. and next time I saw him I was like yeah someone's got to do Paul's Boutique and he's like yeah draw straws I was thinking about it but have you seen how many samples are in it compared to Check Your Head you know it's triple yeah. or something and how many know, samples are there in well, the end uh, well we reckon it's around 150 or something like that including spoken word stuff you yeah know? like Shake Your Rump's got 20 25 or something 20 yeah uh, because uh, he was going to do Shake Your Rump just as a mixtape because you could easily swell it out to an hour couldn't you yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I mean, this is including uh, the singles as well. I mean, because there were a couple of B-sides that came out that had a few different flips on. We did use, a, there is some stuff, isn't there? There's stuff that's in yeah, Hey Ladies just, and Shake Your Rump and stuff. Yeah. yeah, we didn't include Nettie's Girl and things like that. And, you know, but, you know, the title caught in the three, middle of the three <coughs> remix is from one of the B-sides. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the incredible, incredibly awkward your sister's deaf didn't get a look no. in at all anywhere. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's that weird, you know. There's um, a reason why that's a B-side, you know. Tonight we're dropping by because your parents left. The Beastie Boys going to let you know your sister's deaf. Well, it's, we just celebrated 25 years last hmm. year. Um, it's SolidSteel.net is the place to to hear it. Uh, there's a new two-hour show every Friday. goes up around midday UK time. Um and we just got guests and regular DJs, <coughs> myself, yeah, Cy and Money Shop. From the residents of it. Yeah, and with, then... with DK and Colcut. DK is like the show, show producer. Mm. Um, he's at the helm, isn't he? He is, he is. He runs it and sorts a lot of stuff out. But we've, yeah, it's been crazy. The last year has been ridiculous. We've yeah. increased our listenership something like two or three fold. It does go to about 36 countries though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It gets picked up and syndicated around. But it's also free on the web every every mm. week you know via soundcloud and mixcloud uh, free to listen and download so yeah. jump yeah. on a kidlets yeah so that's been quite handy with the soundcloud does it have the tracks that come up to buy as well it's got like a s embedded uh, i think that's on the that's mixcloud, mixcloud. Yeah. 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 yeah that's mixcloud yeah. but we currently own the re own the record for the uh, most ever played show which is i think it's we're nearing ninety six thousand plays on the beasties mix now <laughs> When I first got into hip hop, the DJ was the guy at the back, and I kind of liked that. And you know, then DMCs happened, and later ITF. But yeah, you know, the DMC championships made me want to kind of be a DJ and learn to scratch and stuff. Mm. And the fact that the DJ was at the back and wasn't the focal point was kind of cool with me. I never really wanted to be. But at the show, sat on stage. At the know? shows of the old hip hop gigs, they would do their one routine, like yeah, Houdini would get him out. There. Yeah. What kind of status do groups like Gunshot and Hijack hold for? UK oh, they're DJs? legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, sure. and they were, but they were when they came out. You know, yes, Blade yeah. and people like mm. that. You know, London like, Posse, of course. London Posse get a lot of credit yeah. for rapping their own style. Yeah, um, Overlord X. Mm. Yeah, but that, that whole militant stuff. A lot of Brick music. Hall, they called it. Nice, fast, yeah. heavy yeah. breaks. New format albums got a kind of flavour of that as well. So, uh, mm. the foremost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's Brilliant. definitely Amazing an angle record. for that to come back because it's like hip hop, but crazy heavy sounding as well so the kids yeah. like it friendly, fast as well I'm hip to the game you running down these people here and with the hijack signed up to ice t's 
Rhyme, Rhyme Syndicate, Syndicate label, yeah. which also, even though it's from the West Coast, it still gave them a kind of pat on the head to like yeah. people Well, to you could tell that Hijack were listening to the Bomb Squad and Public yeah. Enemy. Yeah. Yeah. But they were taking it and making it British. And also, I think wow. with the with the DJ skills that those two yeah, guys su- had. Is it Supreme? Supreme and... Like Turntable and Cuba. Cuba and that. Yeah. I think he lives in Japan now, but people were fiending on his style. Yeah. Like. Well, Cuba was saying that he yeah. was actually taking inspiration from those guys when he heard those records because the cuts on those... Fast. Fast. Like, they were for uh, yeah. yeah. Hold no hostage at second twelve was yeah. incredible. I mean, what was that? One ten BPM or something? One hundred thirty. One hundred thirty. <laughs> hold no hostage. Yeah. Yeah. Knows the BPM Actually, as well. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, most of this stuff gets up yeah. around that speed. It's yeah. Crazy. But hijack the two main rappers went on to form a crew called Masters of Ceremony and had a really cheesy crossover garage hit. That's another. Do thing you really we don't like it? Is it? Is it wicked? We're loving it, loving it, loving it. We're loving it like that. Flavor Flav, an old dirty bastard. Who do you let borrow your car? Oh, oh Jesus. I don't know if either of them have an actual driving license. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> According to a Public Enemy documentary, Flavor Flav doesn't even own luggage, so. <laughs> yeah, it's just two carrier bags, wasn't it? Mm, mm. Well, let's face it, you'd get, you'd get your car back if ODB. It'd be, be now, yeah, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, true. Wouldn't we go Yeah, yeah. I think I prefer cleaning it after Flavor Flav. Well, just picking out the seeds and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, they'd both be death rides, and you would be uh, holding on for dear life, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, or they'd just get yeah. so battered the car wouldn't move anyway. <laughs> yeah. Like I thought you were driving. So like Cheech, and, seat. Cheech and Chong, isn't it? Was like, How's my driving? <laughs> I think we're parked. <laughs> Tretch versus Sundubi. If you have to watch a film, a porn film by one, you have to take well, the dive. Would it be produced by DJ Yellow? He got into porn production, didn't he? He did. He did. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Oof. Which one am I watching? <laughs> or which one am I in? Do I have to kind of knock on the door and ask to fix the pipes or something dressed as a plumber? That's a whole other question, yeah. Who's your co-star? You yeah. Know? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. know. I'd the say, Hedgehog, um, Ron Jeremy. He sounds. He looks like the kind of guy that would have done a novelty rap record. Ron Jeremy? Oh, he did. He did with um, DJ Polo. There you go. I Didn't knew you were. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the week. Mm. That's, that's the best answer. That Forget either of them. Ron Jeremy. He's now legit. The Hedgehog. That's a legit answer. <laughs> Yeah. Um, DJ Quick versus Sugar Free, best poem. Oh, <sighs> unbelievable! That's what I think. Uh, <laughs> all of the uh, South Central Cartel probably they were on mass. Had some soul glow going on, I think. Yeah. Quick, quick is the quick is the word. Dr. Dre versus Dr. Dre. Who do you go to for surgery? Oh, well, Dr. Dre from the World Class Wrecking Coast Crew. Or really, doesn't it? Dr. Dre and Ed Lover. Ed Lover. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. What about Lover, yeah. Dr. Dre 1988 versus Dr. Dre now, the beefcake? You see yeah. the size of him? He looks massive. like the it's... new Star Wars figures where they really bulked him <laughs> up with a tiny head. <laughs> yeah. Definitely the old, you know, but calling would... Dr. Dre to surgery. Yeah, but yeah. would he have the sequins yeah. and the eyeshadow on? Because under, us, that, under, us, stu- under the light. <laughs> World Class Wrecking Crew album cover's awesome, isn't it? As, yeah, piss tape by the EZ album, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm glad we've had your wisdom, you know, here in the studio to shed some light on this for us. These are endless debates for us here. And so Strictly Kev, DJ Money Shot, DJ Tiba, thank you very much. No, it's been a blast. When, um, it's woke me right up, actually. Yeah. I was half asleep. Earlier. Despite no air conditioning. Mm. Uh, yeah. That's mm. why you're like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like perish. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks again. All the best for all the future mixes. It's amazing yeah. stuff. Yeah.